What's up, y'all? What's going on? Hey, I know y'all seen that video that I posted up today. Uh, Instagram, y'all haven't seen the video. I'm going to post it up later on. And it just shows um, I was actually doing a Texans game. I was doing a tailgating game. And, um, well, man, I'm huge. I'm real huge. And I felt bad. And and, and then I'm going to tell you my story today. I haven't I haven't shared my story. I, I actually talked about my story, but I haven't really went into detail with my story. Why I, why I changed, you know, why I changed my health, why I changed the inside and the outside of me, you know. So what's up, Jose? So, man, um, here I am, man. Y'all seen my video. Um, as I was talking about on that video, um, I remember DJing out there, and, and I have a real good time DJing. I love I loved what I do. But after I left, after I left there, um, I, I had ate a lot that day, and then I had dr- drank uh, a lot of soda waters and everything. And then as I left there, I got home and I was still hungry. So then I went to get Popeye's and man, I ate a, at least about six pieces of Popeye's chicken, right? And uh, spicy. And man, I was in the restroom. I was hurting. I was hurting. I was crying as I was using the restroom. And, um, you know, the, after that, I was still hungry. So then I, I went to go get me some Frosted Flakes with tons of sugar. And man, what was I doing? What was I thinking, you know? So then the following day, so then that, that day I couldn't breathe. Um, my high blood, I had high blood pressure was real bad. At that time, I didn't know I was type two diabetic yet, or I knew I was just in denial. But uh, I wanted to share that video so y'all could see it. And y'all could see that I was looking at it, man. I almost fell to tears because I was like, man, what was I thinking? I was hurting myself so bad, hurting myself so bad. Um, now, by the grace of God, I'm so, so happy. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy because I didn't realize how much people I was helping right now. I knew I was helping people, but I didn't know how many people, how many people I was helping. You know, um, I'm helping Dahlia. Um, her, her, she came to me. She was diabetic and her sugars has been amazing. Her numbers have been amazing. She's probably no longer diabetic. Um, helping Miguel. Miguel's lost close to 70 pounds already. Uh, he's probably lost a couple of more pounds today. Uh, he feels better about himself. He knows he can do it now. I'm helping easy. I just talked to easy. Easy's doing great. Um, hopefully everybody comes on here. I, I, I wanted them to hit me. They were hitting me up. I want them. And now, and yesterday I'm, I'm helping Juan. Juan started two days ago. Um, I don't think he'll mind me cause he's going to post the pictures later on, but Juan, Juan's at over 470 pounds right now and he came to me and i'm helping him out and he's doing um he's doing great uh he, he hesitated to call me one day um for some of y'all that don't know i, I do charge a 50 dollar charge in the very beginning but i go through your whole journey and the only reason i'm doing that because i need to show that you're committed for some reason or another when i was doing this and just doing it and helping people out they weren't following through, you know, so I figured, you know what, let, let them pay something and, and, you know, they can go for it. And then I go through the whole journey. And also they're taking, a, they, they take a lot of my time, which I don't mind. Uh, they call me from the grocery store. They call me from everything. An- another person that I helped, uh, George, man, he's doing awesome. Um, I remember him calling me, uh, George Alexander. I remember him calling me and, um, he's doing better, man. He's, he's doing, he's doing great, man. You know, um, I, I didn't I didn't I don't know how to talk about my story without getting so sentimental because um, I'm just happy. They're happy tears, you know, and um, but I know I have to do this before I go any further with other videos and stuff like that. I did talk about it at one time, but I didn't go into the, to the detail. So the thing is, I was um, I was always I always had asthma. Um, I, I was always called. I was always called fat ass. I was always called fat boy. I was always called um, so many different names. You know, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together, right? Okay, um, and believe me, I'm 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 happy. I'm so so happy, and I feel amazing every day. Thanks to God. Um, anyway, I was just called all these names and stuff like that through my whole entire life. My whole entire life. When I was a kid, I was called these names by family members, by by cousins, by everybody. You know. Um, 
but I knew, I knew that one day it would change. I didn't know how it would change. And then after a while, I accepted it. So, you know what? I'm fat. I'm, I'm happy. I'm cool and everything. But it was up till I became type 2 diabetic. I had high blood pressure for many of years. I had um, terrible headaches. I had no good bowel movement when I used the restroom. And I'll be straight up blunt with y'all. I'm not here to hold nothing back. And um, I shout out to Instagram, shout out to Facebook. Um, and anyway, I was in so much pain and I was hurting myself. My idea was to be, my idea for fun, for to put a smile in my face was food. You know, I always wanted to do food. And, and this is, this is, this is over the keto because this is everything, you know, keto is amazing and I'm glad it came to me, but this is beyond keto. Okay. So, cause keto didn't even exist this time, you know? So I was treating, I was treating my body really, really, really bad. You know, I was, I didn't feel good about myself. I had no confidence. You know, people think that all oh, free, I, I, you know, I was in the rap game. I, I used to rap. I did all this, but when I left that stage or when I left from DJing, I was depressed. I was sad. You know, I, I didn't show it to nobody because I wanted to keep my head up and everything like that. But I was keeping my head up with this double chin, with this big old stomach. And I didn't feel good, man. And I wouldn't listen to nobody. I wouldn't listen to nobody. My problem was I didn't listen to nobody, man. You know, um, I remember, I remember, um, people telling me, man, you need to get in better health. You know, it's going to be bad for you and stuff like that. And I didn't, I never listened, you know, when I finally listened is when I became type two diabetic, you see, God had a purpose in my life and his purpose was to change me, to make me a better person, to make me see when I had my hands over my eyes, you know, and, um, if, if the camera goes out, I do apologize. I use one of the best cameras, but sometimes it goes out when I move a little bit. Uh, so as long as you still hear my voice, that, that, that'll be great. So anyway, so then I had high blood pressure. I had asthma. I couldn't breathe at night. It was getting to the point where I thought I was going to have to use that mask that I, I really didn't want to get to that. Um, it was just bad, you know. I was getting asthma talking. I would talk to people when I would get asthma. And if you could see that video I just posted earlier, you see that I was trying to catch my breath, you know. Now I catch my breath because I'm working out, because because I'm running, you know, and stuff like that, doing good stuff, you know. But guys, here's the story. I, I always had stomach problems. I've always any everybody that knows me knows that I had stomach problems. Real bad stomach problems. Um I I used to drink Pepto Bismol like it was just a, something to drink normally, drink a lot of it. I used to mix that with Alka Saucer and, and it's crazy, man. And I used to, everything was extra strength. I, I don't know how many Rolades and, and um, so many, so many stuff on my stomach. Maalox, I used to drink the Maalox like that because I wanted to take this pain away. I wanted to take this pain away, you know, and I was upset. I'm like, why this got to happen to me? Why, why is this happening to me? Why, why? I get tired of people, call, people calling me fat ass, fat boy, uh, big boy, and all that. Man, people don't want to hear that, you know. We get used to it. We get used to it. We start accepting something that we shouldn't even accept, you know. So the last thing was I became type 2 diabetic a year ago. It's, it's going to be about a year ago now. And I was depressed. And I... You see why I haven't you see why I haven't talked about my about about me about about my life why I changed well excuse me I'm sorry I'm really trying to be strong well I I was type two diabetic and I seen my dad go through it and I seen my sister go through it and I had some friends pass away from it and. And shout out, shout out to uh, Mary Texas, man. She's she's gonna be riding the bike for for people that got uh, that are diabetics. You know, she's taking she's taking a long, long um, run. I'm not sure what it's called, but she's gonna be riding the bike. So she's a real awesome person, man. She um she does a lot for a lot of people and stuff. But 
Um, so I knew that I had to, I had to change. I didn't, I didn't know where I was going to change at. I found myself, I found myself in the hospital and I knew I had to do this. I knew I had to do this for my family and I knew I had to do this for me. So I said, who's going to do this for me if I don't do it for myself? Because a lot of times I know I had some family members that didn't believe in me, but it's just because the way I was treating myself and I never gave them a reason to believe in me. But now I catch myself and I'm helping so so many people. Yesterday, Juan tells me, you know, hey, man, you know, I just just hearing your voice, bro, just hearing your voice is giving me motivation. It's giving me hope. And I want to do it for my kids also. You know, easy. I talked to easy and he became type two diabetic. And he said, man, you know what? I need to change this. I want to do it for my kids. I want to do it for this. I mean, who else do we want to do it for? You know? So I do apologize, man. I don't mean to be crying, man. I, I really am trying to be strong and I'm, I'm happy. I'm really happy. Thank, thank him, man. It's happy tears. So then when I was on the, I was on the bed, my wife was coming in and my kids were coming in. My kids were worried like, dad, why you got all these needles in your, on your arms? And why you got this bag next to you? And I told him, I said, baby, I said, it's just something that daddy needs to do to get better. And the doctor walked in later on a few days and he was giving me insulin. And I said, why am I getting insulin? He said, cause you're type two diabetic. And I said, oh, my God, what do you mean I'm type 2 diabetic? And, I, and he says, yeah, but I was, I knew something was wrong. I was just in denial all those, you know, all these years. And um, so then what I did is I told the doctor, I remember telling the doctor, and I told the doctor, I said, is there any cure for being diabetic? And this is exactly what the doctor told me. And I'm sure some people that, that are diabetics, they know about this. The doctor told me, you need to lose a big amount of weight. <clears throat> and then I'm going to give you these pills. If these pills are not strong enough, I'm going to give you some stronger pills. If these stronger pills do not work, I'm going to give you insulin. If this insulin worked and work, I'm going to give you stronger insulin. But then I started doing my research and learning and following the amazing Dr. Dr. Jason Fung, and, and, he, and he showed me that there was a way to beat this. And then I started doing keto, um, thanks to my sister-in-law, Mary Lou, um, she introduced me to it. My, my sister Rosa introduced me to it. And, and and I started doing it, man. I started doing it and, and I went full blast with it. And now I'm full blast. And then it, uh, a year later, man, a year later, I'm helping people. I'm in a better place. I'm no longer, they can't no longer call me fat boy. I have people calling me <laughs> Flacco. I have people calling me Slim. And, and they're real about it, man. They're real about it. See, I wanted to, I wanted to share that video today because I wanted people to know where I came from. I'm not coaching you for your money because fifty dollars is nothing to me. I promise you, I make really really good money just DJing. I'm coaching you because I want to change you because you need to change yourself because if not, you're going to enter some danger, man. And 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 you don't want to do that. I had nobody to help me out. No one. I had somebody to tell me, try this, try that, but that's about it. Now, keto is amazing. And the reason why keto is amazing, because it works. But it's not so much just keto. You got to teach your mind how to control your stomach. Juan said yesterday, and, 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 and again, I'm just going to say Juan, that one of his family members said that he they, they didn't think he can do it. And I said, bro, I've been there. You can do it. You you can do it. And now helping all these people out and hearing their stories is amazing. That, that's so amazing. Because I know that this is what God put me for. See, people, we, we, we intend to, we intend to push God away when he's really trying to help us, you know, and he's going to help us when he's ready to help us. We need to stop pushing him, in a way, pushing him away and let him work. 
he works for me every day now. Every day. This is my calling that I didn't know I had. If you would have told me a year ago or <laughs> a lot of years ago, I would have never thought in a million years I would be changing people's perspective, their health, their life, the way they think, everything, man, everything. I would have never, never, never thought about that. But that's what I'm doing. Now, the videos are still coming because people are hitting me up, and I enjoy doing them. I really enjoy doing them. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I enjoy doing them because I enjoy hearing y'all change y'all life. I enjoy, I mean, look, man, I've been working out. Look, this, if you could just feel my stomach right now, it, it's getting hard. I'm, I'm happy, man. My, look, look at that. So... I've been working out, man. I've been working out. And, 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 you know, again, this is not about keto right now and about working out. It's just about my story. So I got out the hospital. And when I got out the hospital, I didn't know what I was going to do. So I was, I went to bed and I was depressed. I wanted to stay in bed. I, I'm, I'm a DJ. So, you know, I stay really busy, but I was sending my DJs out there. And some of the people were complaining, saying, man, we want, we hired you. We want you to DJ. So I told them my story and then they understood so they said it's fine but next time we want you to dj so i got a lot of parties i got to go and do soon but the thing is y'all i was on the i was in bed and um i was depressed and i did that for like a week and a half almost two weeks i was just, i didn't want to do nothing and i can hear my kids in the background what's wrong with daddy why is daddy still laying down you know why daddy don't come out here you know and then I hear this, and then I knew what my mom was going through, and she's still going through it. Um, my stepdad has cancer, you know, um, colon cancer. And um, I said, man, how selfish am I if my stepdad's going through this? And I hear my kids over here, and I said, I got to do this. I, I got to get up, and I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to change my life. God, I'm, you know, I'm all yours. Help me, God. Help me. Please give me direction. I didn't know what to eat, so I wasn't eating nothing. I was scared to eat anything because when you're diabetic, they tell you don't eat this, don't eat that, and, and, and everything, right? So then my sister, she tells me, she goes, you're doing keto. <laughs> I didn't know what keto was. I like, keto? <laughs> What's keto, you know? She says, keto is when you don't eat carbs. You, 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 you eat low carbs, and, and that's what you're doing because you're not eating pasta. I said, uh, no, I'm doing diabetic because I'm scared. I don't want to be in a hospital. I don't want no insulin, you know. But by the grace of God, man, I changed. I didn't have to take my insulin. I didn't have to take pills. I didn't have to take no – today I don't have to take no pills at all, uh, not, even for my, not even for a headache. I don't get dizzy. I don't get, I feel amazing every day. I feel amazing every day. I share to you this today because I want y'all to know my story. I want y'all to know the reason why I changed. Sometimes it takes our back to be against the wall. It takes our back to be against the wall to change. But don't let it take you that long to do it. You know? Don't let it be too late. Sometimes we don't take we don't take what God's telling us to do. We don't go forward when God is trying to push us forward. We stay back. We stay back when you shouldn't stay back. Get out your comfortable place. There's something better out there for you. Hey man, I I I I I hope we didn't run over run out. Okay, we're six ten minutes, so we're good. Um. I do apologize. I, I, I do apologize about crying and stuff like that. And maybe some more tears might come out. But um, that's my story, guys. That's my story. Um, I'm going to be 48. I'll be 48 in January. Can you imagine that? 48 in January. Do I look 48? Nope. Do I feel 48? Nope. See? And, 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 and that's a change because a, a year ago, I want to be talk. I want, I want to be wanting to talk about my age. You know, I used to get depressed when it was my birthday. 
yeah, I'll have a party and we'll have a good time and we'll get full, whatever. But I will be depressed. I'm like, man, you know what? I'm getting older. I'm getting older. But now I've getting, I'm getting older. I'm getting wiser. I'm getting more blessed. And I'm helping more people out. What more can you ask for? Oh, hey, Melissa, what's up? So she says, how long have you been on keto and how much ha have you lost since you started? Um, I want to say I lost so, so uh, I can't, I don't got the number in front of me, but I think I lost close to 80 pounds already or, or a little bit over 80 pounds. So, because I think at one time I was at close to 270 and right now I'm at 183. So that that's that's the answer to that. Hey man, shout out shout out to everybody on here, man. Shout out to Instagram, man. Um, so Instagram, we don't get a lot of people on Instagram. I, I don't. I'm I'm barely starting to go on Instagram and everything. But shout out to y'all. Y'all see my videos later. Um, sh shout out to Margie. Hey, how you doing? Hope you're doing great. Um, praying for you. Uh, shout out to Melissa. Shout out to Philip. What's up, bro? Shout out to Jose. Shout out to to also uh, Spice. Awesome DJ, man. Uh, you can't reach me. Hit him up. Shout out to Lori. Uh, shout out to Morales. How you doing? Uh, shout out to my cousin. Shout out to Sin Lu. Uh, shout out to Michelle. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, your husband hit me up, man. Hope y'all doing great, man. I'm, I'm glad the motivation and everything's going great for y'all. Shout out to Shelly, man. Shout out to Amanda. Shout out to Easy, man, bro. I'm, I hope you're doing great, bro. Hope you're doing great. Uh, shout out to Shannon. Shout out to George, man. Shout out to Sanchez all the way from uh, my cousin. Shout out all the way from uh, Winter, Texas. Miguel, what's up, bro? So Miguel says, bro, big difference. Glad God placed me in your path. Oh, man. See, bro, you're going to have me cry. Hey, hey, bro, I'm glad God placed you in my path too, bro. That's awesome, man. That is so awesome. Shout out to Alex, man. Shout out to all of y'all, man. Shout out to all of y'all, man. God bless all of y'all, man. There is better out there for you. There is better for out there for you. Stop thinking you can't do it when you really can, man. We need to get Juan on here, man. I told y'all Juan, uh, Juan hit um, Miguel first and told Miguel, man, what's going on? And he says, you know what? Hit freestyles. Freestyles can help you because he helped me, you know. And again, some people want, want if you want help, yeah, I charge fifty dollars from the beginning to go through your whole journey, through your whole journey. But come on, you spend fifty dollars on garbage. You spend fifty dollars on uh, invest in yourself. Um, and I'm not telling you, um, Juan didn't call me for a couple of days because he said, man, I didn't have that money, so I want to wait to get the money. You ain't got to worry about the money. The money will come later. I want to start changing you. I want to start helping you right now. I want to start helping you right now. If you need a coach, you hit me up. You inbox me. I can't call you. If I can call everybody, I'll call everybody. If I can speak to everybody out there in the streets, I would speak to everybody everybody because there's a better way out there for your health there's a better way to live man if you want to feel amazing every day listen listen we're too busy talking instead of listening i listen i listen like a sponge i'm i see i want everything to go in so i can share with people and this that's my story guys that's my story so it's so, okay so hey so happy for y'all and thank you for educating us now. See, now, now I'm educated. See, I, I got a GD, okay? So, but hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, man. I, I'm, I'm, you know, yeah, a lot of Hispanics, and, and it's not just Hispanics, it's it's blacks, it's it's Caucasian, it's everything. They're not healthy. They are not healthy. But Hispanic is where a lot of people get diabetes. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And and and, and you get you, you get so much things wrong with you. You get grout, you get um Man, there's so many different things that you get that you you didn't know that keto can take it away. Uh, the keto lifestyle will take it away. But like I said, I'm not trying to coach you just to do keto. I'm trying to coach you to use this to control this for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. People think that you can't eat this you can't eat that. I made me and Nessa the other day. I, I posted. I'm doing. I'm starting to do more videos. I'm doing more videos now about me cooking and and showing because people are asking for it. But I had some people that hit me up from YouTube, from YouTube, that have. I think I I think I seen he had like probably twenty five thousand followers. Twenty five thousand followers, and he hit me up and he says, "Thank you for posting your video." of 
of the food. And that was not the that was the Mianessa. The Mianessa. And then he hit me up for the Bonuelo, the Bonuelos I did. So that was great. That was a great, great feeling, man, because I hope to be there one day. I hope to have that many followers, you know what I'm saying? But right now, the only follower I want, not even follower, the only one I want to follow is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you should do the same thing. Man, I'm not telling you to get real religious because I'm not real religious. But let them in your heart and learn about them. Hey, guys, I really appreciate it. I'm at 20 minutes. I really appreciate it. I'm about to jump off right now. Uh, let me, I'm going to go to read, I'm going to read some questions real quick, man. Um, yep, yep. You know, I appreciate that. So, so, so Ira says, hey, you look amazing. And even when I met you, though, my son, you still good. It, it does no matter. I was, okay. So I work, I work with her son and, I, you know, he's a good person and, and, and he was one of my my coworkers. Not he was cool people, man. You know, Eric, something else. But and we, me and me and the mom became really good friends. She she's one of my. She goes out there to when I DJ and stuff like that at Tacos Total. Yeah, matter of fact, I'll be there tomorrow. Um, if you need a DJ, guys, hit me up. You know how I put it down. Um, and if I can't do it, I got some amazing DJs that can do it for you. Um, you know, you've got Halloween coming, so you need a DJ for your Halloween party. Let me know. I make flyers. I do custom flyers. I do. I help people with their businesses. I help them open their business and everything. So uh, hit me up for all that. I just got a lot of things going on. I'm always working. So um, yeah, easy, easy, easy. Tears of joy, bro. And you're gonna enjoy them tears too, because one day you're gonna share them tears too, bro. If you're not sharing them yet, uh, George, man, what's up, bro? So um, so hey, man, hey, up. Uh, I appreciate everybody, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all from the bottom of my heart, man. Keep on doing great. Remember, your health is everything, um, and God is everything. So if you put him before before anything, you'll see amazing things happen. And I almost sound like Joel Steen, right? <laughs> but no, this this is me. This is me. Hey, guys, to the next video, man, to the next video. It, I, again, this was not too much about keto. This was about my story. And if you still, if you still have any, you know, if you got, if you want me to share any more information with you, you can call me 832-715-2557. You could inbox me to the next video, man. Everybody have an awesome day. Be blessed. And I'll see y'all next time.